When it comes to protecting your precious files, a weak backup is never enough. That's why today we're taking a look at MSP 360's free backup software, a lightweight, flexible tool that makes file protection simple and reliable. Whether you're a home user or a small business, this free solution helps you create backups locally or in the cloud with just a few clicks. So let's get to it. MSP 360 Free Backup is a lightweight version of their robust backup platform. It gives you the essentials to protect your important files, system images, and folders without a complicated setup. With it, you can back up to local drives, external hard drives, or network shares. The free edition is perfect for home users or small setups who want data security at minimal cost. The software works with Windows OS, Mac OS, and Linux so you can pretty much cover all of your computers. Getting started with MSP360 is easy. Firstly, head over to the official MSP360 website and download the free backup edition. We'll throw a download link in the video description for you as well. Click the free download button, and then select your desired OS version to download. Next, you'll want to input your name, email, and your company type. If you're using this at home, just select Personal Use and click Submit. After you've downloaded the software, copy the activation code on the screen as you might need it later, and then let's run the installer. We'll click Next here. Choose your installation location and click Install. When it's finished installing, click Finish. Okay, so let's mention some of the standout features of the MSP360 backup software. Local backup options. You can backup to external drives, USB flash drives, or even network shares. Compression and encryption. You can shrink file size and keep data secure. Flexible scheduling. You can run backups automatically via a schedule or on demand. Email notifications. You can set up emailed reports about backup success or issues. Lightweight and user-friendly. There's no heavy system usage, so it's perfect for all PCs. And while the free edition covers the essentials, upgrading unlocks cloud storage integration with iDrive, Azure, Backblaze, Wasabi, and more. So if you're looking for more seamless backup control, consider upgrading to the Pro version. All right, let's hop into the file backup process. At the MSP360 dashboard, click Files. Click Next. Now we want to add a storage location. Click Add New. Here you can select various cloud storage providers to connect to. You will, however, need your own separate cloud account for these. I want to backup locally, so I'll select File System. Provide a backup storage name and select the path to your local backup device, like an external hard drive, USB flash drive, or your NAS box. Click OK to continue. Now that we've added our backup storage, click Next. You can provide plan name if desired and click Next. Here you can change backup permission and encryption settings. Here we'll specify the files or folders we wish to backup. Now you can tweak or filter some of these backup settings included for the backup plan. If you have encryption settings available, you can tweak these here. If you have the backup consistency check enabled, it will ensure your backup settings and plan are present and correct. Here you can schedule backups to automatically run when desired. You can set a backup retention policy on how long to keep each backup. Here you can create custom pre-backup and post-backup actions if desired. This is nice here. You can set up email alerts for successful or failed backups. I'll skip this option for this backup. Now we're finished with the backup plan and ready to run our file backup. The file system backups are rather quick. I did speed up this process for the video, but it really only took a minute or so. All right, we've seen the backup process. Now let's look at an actual file restore. We'll go delete the files that we backed up earlier. Folder's empty now. 
Next, we'll fire up MSP360 and run through the restore process. Once open, navigate to the backup plan that contains the files you wish to restore. Click Restore Files. Next, you can choose a restore plan or a single restore and click Next. Now that the restore settings are ready, click Next. If you have multiple versions of your backups, you can select what date of backup to restore and click Next. Now select the files you wish to restore and click Next. Choose a restore location and click Next. Again, you can set up pre or post restore actions. And just like the backup process, you can select to be alerted via email on the status. Now that we've created our restore plan, click Finish to run the restore. The restore will quickly replace the missing files and folders from your backups. Let's go take a look if the files were restored. And as expected, they were restored perfectly. So, is MSP360 free backup software worth a look? It absolutely is. So if you're looking for a no frills, free solution to keep your files safe, give this tool a whirl, grab it today, try it out for yourself, and enjoy peace of mind knowing your data is protected. Again, we've dropped a download link in the video notes. I hope you enjoyed this video covering MSP360's free backup software. If it's been helpful for you, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more product reviews. It really is the best way to support the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.